So if you ever wondered if I was 3D or just a 2D image, maybe an AI generated still, well, now you know I am 3D. And we're going to talk about 3D today because Hanyan released their AI 3D model version 2.0, which is kind of a big deal because it is pretty amazing. Just look at this and this. These are all coming from images to 3D. You can also prompt directly from text to 3D. Pretty cool. Oh, and did you hear about the animator who was imprisoned? He was keyframed. So these guys you saw already, and they are an example of Hanyan 3D 2.0. Oh, there's a demo. You can test it here. All the links are going to be in the description below. And as of today, January 1st, this is available. It is not available yet inside of Comfy UI, but I'm sure it will be any second now. Or whenever you're watching this video, it might be included. Because actually, you can see it on a bit of here roadmap, open source plan, code, model checkpoints. Technical report, Comfy UI, not checked in, but it will be. What is this then? Onion 3D 2.0, an advanced large scale 3D synthesis system for generating high resolution textured 3D assets. If you want to read all this, just go to the link, read it. We're gonna, we want to look at some of the pretty images. Oh, they're not. Let's see, how can we get them as big as possible? There we go. That's big. So not only can it do the shapes, it generates the textures and you can do like low poly stuff like that sketch to 3d whatever uh, now they claim animation i'm not sure i haven't tested any animation parts or if they just mean that you can animate it it would be very cool if the model also animates the movements and i i'm sure that that's what they mean and they say the features a two-stage generation pipeline starting with the creation of a bare mesh followed by the synthesis of a texture map for that mesh so basically you know, if you're not a 3D person, they're doing, and then, you know, the shape is a mesh, uh, whatever. Uh, and then the texture, the texture is the paint on top of the model. Most usually it's just a flat image that's kind of wrapped around the model, which uh, if you ever, if you ever see one and you're not used to it, it looks kind of weird, especially for characters and faces. Everything just looks like warped out like this. Let's see if I can find an image to show you that. So they say that they have evaluated Hanyan 3D 2.0 against other open source and closed source 3D method, they say, generation methods. Uh, I'm assuming they're all models. Here it says top open source models. We have one top open source model and three top closed source models. And according to their own data, Hanyan surpasses all baselines in the quality of generated textured 3D assets and the condition following ability. So here's some scores if you're into that. Honestly, I mean, whenever I see data like this, I mean, sure, they're great models. Yeah, everyone's using their own data, so it's going to be a little skewed. But I get it. I mean, it's a good model. You can download them, get them here on Hugging Face. There is also instructions here on how to get started installing. Now, if you don't want to do that, uh, you have the option of waiting for Comfy. You also have the option of using the demo. So the demo is this link here, and that will take you to this. Now it has been very overloaded. Uh, when I tried this earlier, you could generate both a shape and the texture mesh. Uh, now you can actually only generate the shape, it seems like. So maybe just a temporary glitch. But from this, or you can select any image here on the side, right? So it says seven pages of stuff or your own text prompt, you can generate this uh, cool shape, right? So here we have this uh, devil knight kind of thing on a evil horse. Well, why is it evil? Just because it's com you know, coming out flames out of it. I don't know. We're just assuming it's evil. Maybe it's a nice horsey. Anyway, so you can generate some shapes. You can generate uh, textures with it when it's not overloaded. Here's an example from this little dude here. If you've seen or read, it's pr it started as a manga, right? I haven't read it. I saw the Netflix version. It was okay. Wouldn't write home about it. 
Uh, and if we do a text prompt here, let's do, what do we do? A cat in a hat. We have some advanced options. We can change some steps, seed. Let's not care about that. Let's just generate this shape. We are uh, actually no queue right now. So this is going to take about 30 seconds, it says. So let's see. And in the meantime, we can look at some pretty images here. So we can do a little penguin here. That's cute. We got a little Lego Batman. We got a pumpkin. We did not get a cat in a hat. Come on, you. I can generate that again. There's some various stuff that you can do. That's pretty cool. Oh, well, it just keeps crashing. What about this one? Let's try here. Cat in, in a hat. Oh, I'm in the queue now. Well, the point is it works. It's pretty good. Now I'm not a 3D person. I have opened Maya 3D Studio Max and Bryce, I think, back in the day. Probably something more. I use 3D Studio Max and Maya the most, but I'm a novice. I can move stuff around. That's about it. Yep, text prompt not working for me at this moment, but uh, feel free to try some of the image prompts. Here's a banana, probably not very exciting to do, uh, but maybe uh, let's do this turtle here. And if we generate this, notice it, you know, oh, obviously all of these are just 2D images, so they're flat images. So not only does the model understand the front of what it sees and creates a shape out of that, it actually understands what's supposed to go behind this. Is it a four-legged creature? Is it a two-legged creature? Is it, um, does it have a, a, a disc? On top of it which is the world so let's see we actually got a four-legged creature we got three little turtle toes here we got two little turtle toes back there i have no idea how many turtle toes a turtle should have uh, and uh, i'm assuming it's more than two but uh i mean good effort we got a good little shell here maybe it's a ninja turtle maybe it's a baby ninja ninja turtle donatello was my favorite which ones were your favorite ninja turtles were amazing during the 90s. I mean, they still are probably not as popular anymore. Anyway, this is a great deal. Can't wait till we see it uh, inside of Comfy. But for now, you can use the demo. You can use locally. Ooh, is this? Ooh, click to access webcam. Paste from clipboard. Oh, you got some options here in, in the demo. Anyway, just want to show you that. As always, thanks for watching. See ya.